Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. I legitimately have no idea what's in here. I know I had a few conversations with people here recently and I can't remember what the heck it was. So we're gonna find out together as per usual. If it's something I can link, I will link it right down below for your convenience. And because when you use my links, it helps my channel, but that's up to you. Thanks to my generous patrons who are supporting me. Link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. This thing bounces all over the place. So sometimes I'll throw one, sometimes I'll throw the other. Sometimes I'll throw both. You never know. You never know what you're going to get. All right. What's the best way to cut into this? How about just like that? Does that work? Sure. That's not how you're supposed to do it. That's not the most efficient way to do it. Don't tell me my business. God, there's a lot of tape on this. I'm not strong enough. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a Tucson. Oh boy. What's happening? Complex reviews Tucson's now? I said, I said I'd give them a chance if and when they had designs that were interesting. And you know what? Sorry, sorry about your box here. Try not to. I just realized, like, what type of person's like, don't you dare put a scratch on my Tucson box. If you pull the tape off that Tucson box and you put a mark on it, I will be devastated. Um, <laughs> sorry. Okay, what do we have? I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this was the gentleman I spoke with on my Discord. Hang on, I'm going to get his information out of here. Ah, yes. Mm, okay. And uh, Instagram, here we go. Agerworks Knives and Xterra Forum on Instagram. Okay, cool. And yes, thank you very much. I appreciate this. What do we have? Is it the name? I can't remember the name of it. Oh, but it's, uh, it's a button lock. Big old fat button lock. Look at that thing. All right, cool. So we have the Tucson. The name will go up right here, right? Um, with Tucson Knives, uh, the problem is generally, by the time I get a hold of them or anybody else, they're gone. And then they don't keep making the same thing over and over again, right? Um, but the thing that was alluring here was the fact that this is a pretty hefty, you know, we've got like a titanium bolstered, it's actually, that's all a piece of the frame and then we have the scales just sitting over it, right? But you've got that kind of pseudo bolstery kind of look. And then we've got these interesting thumb studs here. Look at that. <laughs> Those are freaking aggressive thumb studs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it looks like a revolver barrel. Um, but yeah, they work and you've got, um, kind of a thick, kind of a, almost like a stubby clip point, right? Definitely full four finger knife, right? Whether you want to choke up, you want to rock back a little bit, a little bit of stick on that button, but it does work. Um, I'm just, I like button locks, right? A lot of people talk about, you know, with button locks, when you're gripping it, right? There's a chance that you'll, if you're left-handed, right? There's a chance that you'll disengage it. So this is not, it's not the safest thing to do here. I'm going to try and grab this in a way where it would be most likely. So I'm going to get that pad on that button. And this is if you're left-handed, right? Mm, doesn't feel like it. Here, let's say, I, let's say I grab it here, push down with my index finger. Yeah, in that case, yeah, sure. But I think that's pretty much the case with any button lock. I would think that subconsciously you would do your best to keep your hand off of that. But uh, somebody asked me about that in my review. In fact, quite a few people asked me about that in my review, the Brown FSD. And I just find that it's such a specific, it's kind of like when people say like, oh, well, if you put pressure on the spine of a frame lock, right, then the excess pressure can cause it to disengage. Think about the circumstances in which that is going to be a problem, right? If you find yourself often enough in situations where that is a problem, where a specific grip is required to do more than a simple cut or even a high pressure cut, right? If that's required and it's causing certain things to disengage, I think the answer to all of those problems is use a fixed blade, right? Um, or use a cold steel triad lock. That's why it's cold. Okay, yeah, okay. But that just is very specific and very circumstantial to me, right? So I like button locks and I've never, I, I definitely carry and use, uh, you know, button locks here and there. 
and I've just never had an issue with them. So it's kind of, it's one of those things where you gotta ask yourself like, am, because like, am I left-handed? Am I right-handed? Where am I putting my hands when I use my knives, right? How often am I gonna be choked up like this and potentially putting pressure on that? I mean, if you hold it back here, there's no way. There's no way, right? Um, but anyways, <laughs> back to the knife. This is cool. I don't know how much I love them like billboarding the whole Tucson knives made in Yang Yangjiang, China. I don't know how uh, how much I really like that being billboarded on the pivot, right? Like if you're not looking at the text, it's kind of neat, but eh. Um, we have some milling there on the titanium, which is really nice. This is definitely a more blocky feeling knife, but it's got decent ergonomics and the pocket clip is just great. Real simple, right? But that flat sort of contour to radius machine work that we've got going on here, the little divot there, it's kind of neat. Look at that. They've got the texturing on the pocket clip as well. That's really nice. Um, yeah, this is cool. This is the kind of stuff where I'm like, okay, that's a little bit different. It still looks like a knife. It doesn't look like something that you know, was pried off the back of an alien spaceship or something, which, come on, Tucson, not, Tucson fans, you know that if they're, if that's not the case anymore, it certainly was the case for a long time. It was just like, wow, right? <laughs> just a little bit too much. Um, but this is pretty cool. I don't think I love the holes up here. I think that's just like, just leave that area alone. But, okay, pretty neat. What's the steel? Oh, it's D2, okay. So we've got, Tucson is funny. They... Are, they, they do a lot of titanium and D2, so we end up in this like $120 department or $140 department. And, you know, there's enough there that people are like, yeah, okay, right? Um, but it's, it's interesting seeing like what people prefer or are okay with in certain territories. But this is a cool knife. I'll link it if I can. If I can't, I'm going to link Tucson knives in general because I'm going to tell you what. By the time you're seeing the Tucson model like on a video like this, there's a good chance it's already gone. You just kind of have to go and like look at Tucson knives and pick this kind of stuff out for yourself. They have good quality. I'm hoping that their heat treatment on, especially on steels like S90V, some of those, you like really, you got to get it exactly right. Well, you got to get it right on all steels, but I'm just saying like, if you're going to pay that much for a steel like S90V, you want it to perform the way it's expected to perform. So I'm hoping that they've got their heat treat stuff down. Um, I know that there are other channels who, you know, have the ability to test stuff like that. I don't have that ability, so I'm hoping that that's the case, but I honestly don't know. So, anyways, this is not a review. This is just an unboxing and first impressions. This is interesting. I definitely need to spend some time uh, with it before I give you guys a full review, so you can expect that here in a few weeks. Uh, but for now, I think that's going to be pretty much it. Thanks again to the gentleman who sent this in to me. This will go back to him when I'm done. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives. They're either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.